How big was the aviation technology leap from World War I to World War II? During World War I, the introduction of aircraft into warfare changed the dynamics of combat, leading to the development of faster and more agile planes. One of the most iconic aircraft of the era was the British Sopwith Camel, renowned for its speed, maneuverability and effectiveness in air combat. The Sopwith Camel, designed by the Sopwith Aviation Company, first entered service with the Royal Flying Corps in June 1917. Powered by a rotary engine, the Camel had a top speed of around 185 km per hour, making it one of the fastest planes of its time. Its sleek design and powerful engine allowed it to outmaneuver enemy aircraft and engage in dogfights with German fighters such as the Fokker Dr. I and the Albatross DV. The Camel's speed and agility made it a favorite among Allied pilots, earning it a reputation as one of the most successful fighter aircraft of World War I. Pilots such as Major William Barker and Captain Roy Brown achieved notable victories flying the Sopwith Camel, contributing to the overall success of Allied air operations on the Western Front. In contrast, the fastest plane of World War II was the German Messerschmitt Me 163 Comet, a revolutionary rocket-powered interceptor aircraft that pushed the boundaries of aviation technology. Developed by the Messerschmitt Company in response to the Allied bombing campaign against Germany, the Comet was designed for high-speed, short-duration attacks on Allied bombers. The Mi-163 Comet was powered by a liquid-fueled rocket engine, which propelled it to speeds of around 1,130 km per hour, nearly six times faster than the Sopwith Camel. Its incredible speed and agility made it a formidable adversary in the skies, capable of intercepting and engaging Allied bombers with ease. Despite its impressive performance, the Mi-163 Comet faced numerous technical and logistical challenges that limited its operational effectiveness. The aircraft's rocket engine consumed fuel at a rapid rate, giving it a very limited endurance of only a few minutes in flight. Additionally, the Comet's highly volatile rocket fuel posed significant safety risks to pilots and ground crews. Nevertheless, the Mi-163 Comet saw limited combat action during the later stages of World War II, particularly in defense of German cities against Allied bombing raids. Its speed and agility allowed it to inflict significant losses on Allied bomber formations, but its operational drawbacks and the overall decline of the Luftwaffe's air defenses hampered its effectiveness. Despite its limited success in combat, the Messerschmitt Mi-163 Comet remains a fascinating example of the innovative aircraft designs that emerged during World War II. Its incredible speed and advanced technology pushed the boundaries of aviation engineering and left a lasting impact on the development of fighter aircraft in the post-war era. In summary, the British Sopwith Camel and the German Messerschmitt Mi-163 Comet were two of the fastest and most influential aircraft of their respective eras. While the Camel played a crucial role in air combat during World War I, the Comet represented a technological leap forward in aviation design during World War II. Both aircraft left a lasting legacy in the history of military aviation, showcasing the evolution of aerial warfare from the piston engine era to the jet age.